Sonny and Moses just cannot catch a break. Like, we've heard about Moses being in jail. Now there is more news about Moses. There is also something that makes it clear that Destiny knew about Sonny and Moses and was okay with it at some point. So it is very much given storyline. And we're going to get into everything today. But if you have not hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And everyone, please like, share, and don't forget to let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Now let's get into it. So first of all, Moses is allegedly serving 11 months for violating his parole. I believe it was four counts in total in terms of the violations. One of it was like something about him going to Huntsville to film. There's also something about him moving residents and so on and so forth. But that's not really the focus of today. Today, there is more. So I was watching T from TV, shout out to her. And she went through the court document showing that there is a lawsuit against Moses's company for failing to repay a loan so allegedly allegedly everything i say in this video is alleged and for entertainment purposes only and for purposes of commentary so now once i've given that disclaimer let's get into it so apparently moses owes roughly twenty five thousand dollars for not repaying a loan that he took for his company. There is also a claim for reasonable attorney's fees because essentially they're having to enforce the terms of the loan by taking the matter to court. So based on what he had previously agreed in the contract, if the company had to enforce, the loan company had to enforce, then he would be entitled, they'll be entitled to get back the reasonable attorney's fees. So they're claiming for that as well. And then prejudgment interest at the standard legal rate. Now, all of this, I'm just thinking, how is Sonny doing? Like, was she aware of this from the get-go? It just feels like there is constantly something going on with them. Like, first, it is them, Moses being exposed for being in jail. Now he's been exposed for this lawsuit. And it just feels like they cannot catch a break. Like, I hope Sonny is doing well, but I feel like I don't get the impression that she knew about all of this before. And I'll tell you why. Because if you knew about it all before, would you really be going on social media and lashing out and being so upset and the way she's responding to people? I know she apologized now, but the way she was going off on social media gives the impression of someone who has been shaken to their core. Yes, I know absence of your spouse could do that to you, but I think much more than that, you feeling like you have been deceived could also do that to you. Now, I don't want to cast any aspersions on their marriage. Like, ultimately, we're not going to know anything specific about it until she writes her book or it is shown on the new season of love and marriage huntsville but it does seem like so much is happening to them and quickly you know it made me think about there were some comments that i read where people were saying like this man has gone to jail so many times in the past and you shouldn't be dating someone who is in quotation marks a career criminal right and someone who is in and out of jail because most times they don't really change. And I feel so bad for her because every time she talks about it, she talks about like, you know, yes, my husband's passed and it's a testimony and all of that. But then did she realize that he was still engaging in reckless behavior, like violating your parole, especially when you could get permission for the things that he needed to do let's say for instance if you wanted to film for love and marriage huntsville he could have requested and if they said no then that's no but yet he still has that mindset like oh i'm not gonna get caught and that's the problem it's like you want if you're going to end up with someone who has been to jail before you want someone whose mindset has actually changed and it's not going to take unnecessary risks that puts your family in jeopardy because it must be horrible for Sonny have to be having to deal with all of this by herself. And how much is, I'm not being funny, right? But how much is to pay $2,500 every week, I believe it is, to repay the loan? 
like why couldn't he afford to pay that and if he couldn't for whatever reason then you reach out to the company and say to them i can't afford to pay this how can we reach a better agreement that allows me to pay the amounts that i can but extend the loan terms most companies don't want to go through the effort of suing you when you've reached out to them to try to reach an agreement usually they would be like okay let's reach this agreement and slightly alter the terms so it just feels like reckless behavior that he did not take that initiative to do that now on to the second thing i really wanted to talk about shout out to diana rose because i was on her channel and watching one of her recent videos and i saw that she posted that when sunny first put up her wedding pictures and talking about getting married who was in the comments tisha and freaking destiny can you believe it destiny put heart love struck emoji like four of them and then said congratulations sunny are you kidding me and then tisha also said congratulations you've been killing it this year i'm just like so they both knew and they were both cool with it so when did it become a storyline thing it honestly feels like we've been fed bs and this storyline was created after the fact because allegedly tisha and destiny's comments were deleted afterwards so they're nowhere to be found under the post which then makes you think when was it concocted was it something where sunny and destiny and moses sat together and thought okay let's do this to create a storyline to bring destiny back and for them to get on the show like it's very shocking to me that destiny of all people would leave a comment and be leaving love struck emoji most times even if the person doesn't want to come out and say like wow you're with my ex they may have like a shady emoji side eye something or would absolutely say nothing but the fact that they're actually there saying congratulations is mind-boggling to me i recall a while back I remember watching, I don't know whose YouTube um, video it was, but I remember someone saying like, it feels like a storyline and I would be inclined to agree. It almost seems like they're just out here performing for us. Who knows whether Moses was with Sunny the whole time and it was all a scheme that Todd set up. Like seriously. So I'll put the question to you. Do you believe that this whole Destiny, Sunny and Moses story is all a big storyline? all created drama for the show let me know what you guys think and also what do you guys think about this whole moses now owing twenty five thousand dollars um for failing to repay a loan let me know what you guys think in the comment section below don't forget to like share hit that subscribe button and tap that bell button right next to it so you know every single time that i post and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you bye